food. Um, we're from one of our favorite places, uh, Ramen Zuru in Artesia. And uh, it's really good. So I wanted to show you what we had for dinner tonight. This is the miso ramen with chashu pork and um, half of the egg. I forget what it's called. Um, their chashu rice is really good. This is their uh, nacho zuru. It's nachos with uh, some pickled ginger there, or I think pickled onions, and the chashu in their zuru sauce. I don't know what, what's it's in it. Spicy. It's a little spicy. It's really uh, savory. It's really good. And Mallory's portion of the ramen zuru. Also, for our, uh, for our little trip too, we also um, picked up a few other things. Mallory got this, which is really cute. Um, that was on a previous trip, and she also ordered a few other ones. As you can see, my collection is growing because I love Snoopy. And then Mallory got this nice, awesome uh, Pokemon tower. Really cool. And then last but not least, that's Mallory, of course. And this is the backpack she got from Box Lunch. And as you can see, if you look closely, it is Stitch and uh, Scrump with Boba, because we love Boba. Mallory, again, used to hate Boba, and now she she wants Boba all the time, which sucks because we're we're gonna have we're about to have a. Uh, <laughs> it seems like we're about to have a shortage of Boba, so. Yeah, sad. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh, nice. Oh yay! Box is here. Nice. I was looking forward to this one. I wonder what's in it. Hello everyone! Hi! Uh, yep, exciting day. We got our Boxu box. Um, it is the our third month. We had a three month subscription and today we got the uh, Boxu birthday one and that is because it is their birthday today. So, let's dive in! Also, this is my cat right Hi. there. Hi Nee! He's being shy. Uh, this is our second take, and he actually did the first one, but I had to delete him because of sound. All right. Oh, hi, Link. Oh, you're shy now? <laughs> so this is the box, as you can see. It's really cool. Um, it's, it's really high quality. It's just... It's just a really nice looking box. And uh, it sucks because as you can see, um, shipping wise, it got a little damaged, but hey, it's okay. Um, so Mallory, if you'd like to do the honors. And there you go. Boxu birthday. Awesome. And as you can see, it's usually chock full of bunch of stuff and this time it actually looks really interesting um that first one it immediately caught my eye because i love these little tempura um seaweed type snacks and then there's a bunny and whatever that is it looks like chocolate, chocolate chips. chips but chip choc chip cho chocolate chip chocolate. chip yeah <laughs> chocolate chips chip chips potato chips with chocolate on on them yes <laughs> all right let's let's see what this entails so which one are we going to start off with first we'll just take one out and then i'll okay so we'll start with these ones these uh these are the uh ones i was really excited about the it looks like seaweed tempura, seaweed tempura. Satochi. Satochi olive and lime vinegar. Oh, these are definitely mine. Mallory does not like vinegar. 
um, made by Maru Maruka Maruka Shokuhin. For this snack from Hiroshima, sheets of nori are battered and fried tempura style. Then they're flavored with olive and wine vinegar for a unique taste of Setochi or Seto Uchi, Japan's Seto Inland Sea region. Seto Inland Sea. That reminds me of an anime I used to watch. I think it was My Girlfriend is a Mermaid, something like that. Yeah, I liked it. It was funny. So that's oh well. I'll try it out, and then you get to see Mallory probably just not like it. So the flavor is savory, mm -hmm. it's not vegetarian, uh, common allergens are eggs and meat, so... Ah, that's what. Well, and it also contains mollusk shellfish. Shellfish is not my favorite thing, but we'll try this. I mean, it doesn't contain... Mm. I like it. I will say. You definitely get the uh, nori flavor, um, and it is <laughs> it is very nicely vinegary, but not too vinegary. I don't really taste any of the wine or the shellfish, but other than that, it's it's really nice. It's a really nice crunch to it, a really nice crisp, and it kind of that nori brings out kind of that oceany flavor. I like it. So here's Mallory and her probably not liking it at all. We'll see. Just, just. <laughs> it is crunchy though. Yeah, see, it's not bad. It's, it's, the vinegar isn't too bad. I mean, it is vinegar, but. How does yeah. it taste to you? Oh, there's the uh, end flavor. Bushyland. Bushyland. That's our new favorite bubble place. The only place we've seen it is in um, Arcadia. Santa Anita Mall. Mall. So, all right. So that's this one here. That is the seaweed tempura. All right. So next, Mallory can choose. They look, they look, well, they're hard, but they look kind of like mini pancakes. I don't think that's what they are, but let's see. Right, these are it's, it's in there. Oh, Momoyama. Momoyama. It's made by Ito Seika. This sweet wagashi, wagashi. Sure. Is a traditional Japanese confection known as Momoyama. This is a type of wagashi. wagashi. It's probably made of white white bean paste, <laughs> sugar, egg yolk, and a small amount of flour or starch. Mixed together and baked for a sweet confection. It is vegetarian. Nice. The flavor is sweet. Sorry, allergens. Common allergens are eggs. And it also contains N-A. N-A. <laughs> N-A. Alright, alright. Since I picked it, I'm gonna try it. I'm not a fan of any type of bean. Oh, it's hard. It is a little hard. Yeah. It is not solid. We'll it up. We have a Roomba. We're giving it food. DJ Roomba. DJ Roomba. I wanted to call it DJ Heathcliff, but Mallory was like, it's too hoity toity. I'm trying to. That's dry. Is it dry? Mm -hmm. How does it taste though? Dry. Oh. Okay, is it sweet? It does look dry though. It is sweet, but it's really dry. Mm -hmm. and I can't really taste the Okay. Oh yeah, it does look dry. You know, it reminds me of any Filipinos out there. Uh, have you ever had uh, hopia? Kind of looks like that on the inside. If you can take a look, it looks like hopia to me. I'm gonna do the whole thing. 
yeah. Oh yeah. You must totally hope yeah. Okay. It's actually drier than hope yeah. Um it breaks apart pretty easily. But it's like it is sweet. But it's almost chalky, right? Yeah, it's very chalky. That's why like, it doesn't really taste like anything. You do taste sweetness, but I just feel like it's yeah, there's, dry. Yeah, it's a little dry, but I like it. I like it. All right, my turn. Um, that's mine. Yeah, oh. So, Boksu also has teas. And uh, this is a, uh, it looks like... Matcha. Um, like a, a, some type of matcha. Green tea. Here you go. And Mallory's already cleaned Hoshino it. matcha latte. Hoshino matcha latte. Mallory's already kind of, uh, she's claimed it. We're not going to do it in the video. We'll probably uh, savor this on our own, but it'll be delicious. It's hers, not mine. So. All right. So, let's dig deep see what we got here. Huh. Sable. 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 We're butchering names here. The sable with nama choco. Uji matcha with nama choco. Uji matcha with nama choco. As you can see here, that's what it looks, the packaging looks like. Uh, we'll open it up here. Would you like me to describe what it is? Yes, please. Sable is a French, <laughs> it's a French. A French style cookie originally, but this Japanese version has a rich, ooh, that's my too, matcha taste from the Uji matcha baked into the dough. It also has a soft chocolate center, adding a bittersweet chocolate flavor to every bite. Yes. Oh, shoot. Yeah, this is definitely yours. <laughs> she's not going to let me, it's going to, I'm going to open it and it'll be gone probably. We'll see, because she's going to see it. And she's gonna eat it before I can even. Right. Well, yeah. Now she knows what it looks like. There's a picture. There's a picture. Yes, and it comes with a little booklet that tells oh, you where the things that's are. That's where I'm getting reading all the information. <laughs> she's psychic. Yeah. I just know. Things. So, here's what the cookie looks oh, like. Oh, and this is a classic exclusive. Ah. So another good thing about Boxu is that a lot of the stuff they get is actually exclusive to them. Um, you can probably get it in Japan, but you can't really find it here uh, at any of the Japanese stores. Maybe if you looked hard enough, but a lot of them are pretty exclusive. So, as you can see. The chocolate's right in the middle. Okay. Nine. Here Take one. Okay, so that is. Mmm. Pork's in the background. Oh, well, there are? No. Mmm. <laughs> mm. It's soft. Oh, it's very soft. It is very soft. Okay, you can definitely taste the bitterness of the matcha. You can. I can. But it's pretty well offset. Uh, it's pretty well offset by the chocolate on the inside. The chocolate's good too. Yeah, it brings in, it really ties together the flavors. So the chocolate isn't too sweet, or I'd say it's semi-sweet. Um, and then there's a bitterness of the uh, the matcha, the green tea. Mallory doesn't taste it. Um, and then just the softness of the uh, cookie itself. Actually, it's really, really good. Mm -hmm. Very soft. Inside's nice and soft. Good flavor. It's gonna be nice to Mallory. Oh, uncle. It's her favorite thing. Mm. Matcha and chocolate. Matcha and chocolate. Mallory's, Mallory's jam. Mm. Alright. Oh, my turn? Yeah, your turn. She hasn't seen it yet. She'll probably go for it when she sees it. I saw it already. Okay, she saw it. She's being nice. You'll see. What? These look like cookies. These look like what are the cat tongue? The cat tongue ones? Yeah. So if you ever 
Gato de lengua. Gato de lengua. But uh, so this is what it looks like. Um, Mallory will come up with the the uh, description right now if she can find it. But it does really look like just those sugar cookies. Happy turn rice crackers. Happy turn is a light rice cracker. What? Happy turn is a light rice cracker. <laughs> oh! Does that mean like it was I think established it was in established 19- in 1976. Okay, the, 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 uh. I know the, how to read. Do we? <laughs> the sound, I mean the sound. The, uh, the sentence is literally, happy turn is a light rice cracker V1976. So that's what tripped us up. But I think what it means is it was established in 1976. Um, so for over 40 years, customers have enjoyed its crunchy texture and buttery sweet flavor that they boast is tomoranai oishisa. Oh, good thing I didn't say that. I, yeah, I'm butchering that. Uh, too delicious to stop eating. So the flavor is savory, really. I thought that was gonna be sugary. Vegetarian it is. <laughs> um, <laughs> common allergens is soy. And also contains <laughs> <laughs> I'm Yoda I Yodified that. Vegetarian it is. Oh man. Uh, also contains not applicable, so um I think that just means there's nothing else really to it. Um, so it says it's savory, it literally looks sweet. So, oh, it says happy turn up here. Oh, well, it does. I'm confused because it says savory. I mean, most rice crackers are, but. Maybe it's like a sweet savory? No. Well, maybe. Maybe like a. Like a teriyaki soy sauce. sauce one. Just. Is there. <laughs> oh. Oh, are they small? Oh, so they do look like it. Oh. Oh. Mm. Mm. So this is what they look like. Um, long and yeah, they do actually look like they might be savory. Oh, they're definitely savory. Oh, they're hard. They're definitely crunchy. They are rice crackers. I think they're gonna be softer. Yeah. In here. It's actually not bad though. Mm. It's a nice crunch. It's nice crunch. It's savory. It's not too salty. Like it's it's almost salty sweet, uh-huh. but not really too salty. If that makes so sense. <laughs> Welcome to my life. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good. That's really not bad. Kind of salty, but. We had rice crackers. Oh, Mallory has these rice crackers that we just cannot find anymore. Um, we don't have any more of them left. Otherwise, we'd ask you guys if you knew where we could find them. But, um, and they were like the best rice cra- crackers we'd had. That was kind of like a sweet soy sauce. Yeah, it was a sweet totally. soy sauce base. It was soft. really good. Not, not soft, but like light. Yeah, it was almost that airy crispiness, yeah. rather than like heavy-handed. Uh, it wasn't overly crisp, if that makes sense, I guess. Right? It was good. It was. But yeah, this one, pretty good. I'm surprised. All right. <laughs> oh yeah, we do need some water after that. She. She makes the right call here. She makes the right call a lot of the times. When she married me. Mm. Here's those chocolate chips. 
that we were talking about. Chocolate potato chips. Chocolate potato chips. So, we've had... Mine! We've had chocolate potato chips before. Mm. Usually they're meh, but uh, sometimes they're good. See if I can, oh, there it is. Jaga Choco potato chips made by bourbon. Sweet and savory are always a winning combination. <laughs> These potato chips are thick and crispy. They're fried and covered in a layer of milk chocolate that pulls in the ridges of each chip. So every bite has the perfect amount of chocolate. Oh. Stop hitting yourself. No, I did. I was not <laughs> Sweet. The flavor is. <laughs> uh, yes, it is vegetarian. And um, common allergens are milk and soy. Let's, let's give it a try. <clears throat> I think I need more water. Why do they do this? Uh, oh, these actually look better than the, the gigantic ones. So they're actually little, smaller. I thought they were gonna be like Pringles in there, but <clears throat> okay. Oh, it's like lightly coated. Mm -hmm. <coughs> it looks more like the uh, the chocolate actually does pull in the inside, as you can see. Oh. Mm. Okay. Because the chocolate is pulled at the bottom and not weirdly covering every part of the chip, it's actually not too chocolatey. And I think there's a good balance between the saltiness of the chip, which there really isn't any because the, the chocolate is actually cutting it pretty well. But it's not overly sweet, so again, we've had other ones that were just, I couldn't even taste, it was almost like there was no chip. It was it really chocolate. Mo yeah, it was just chocolate shaped like a chip. They're like, no, there's a chip in there, but you'd never be able to tell. This one is actually nice. Mm -hmm. It's still crispy. It's really nice. That, that surprised me. Mine. All right, Mallory's turn. Oh, it's a little bunny. Yeah, it's a bunny. Hmm. It says Ringo na Usagi. Ringo na Usagi. Shinshu Apple Rabbit Manju, mm -hmm. made by Takachiko. Oh, sorry, Takachiho. The Shinshu region, now known as Nagano Prefecture, is famous for its apples. This cute manju is filled with Shinshu Apple flavored white bean paste. Mallory does not like bean stuff. Red beans, white beans, black beans. He really doesn't like them. Only when they're like re like fried or like cooked, right? Yeah, when they're supposed to be savory in a dish. That's the I like. So uncivilized. Tasty, flavorful, and bunny shaped. What's not to love? Oh, it is bunny shaped! It is bunny shaped. It's really cute. It's nice. Okay, you like that. What? <laughs> Here's the problem with cute things. You don't want to eat them. Nope. Especially when they're shaped like a bunny and I'm like... When they're shaped like a turtle. I bought Mallory a, a sourdough bread bowl thing from Bodine's when I went to 
to San Francisco on my own a few years back. And uh, I didn't eat it. she did not eat it. She said it was too cute. You want to bite the head. Then start with the feet. Then you're biting the feet to the feet. Then open up the sh Okay, I couldn't eat it either. So. Oh, a little bunny. <laughs> that is so interesting. <laughs> this is what I have to deal with. Hmm. Hmm. It's pretty good. Mm. It kind of has that same chalky texture. Is the very first one we had. Mm. So again, mm. like Hopia, it's a little chalky, it's pretty dry, but the flavor, you can definitely taste the apple coming through. It's really delightful. It's not overly sweet. I like it. It's a little dry though. But I do like it. No. She's probably not going to like it. Well, you might. You like apples. It kind of smells like figs. Fair. Yeah. How did you replay it? Mm -hmm. I don't like that. Yeah, she doesn't like it. It's too, it's too chalky, right? Yeah, so, again, as you can see on the inside, that's what it looks like. I hope you can see it. It's really, uh, it's really chalky, so. I don't like the flavor. Oh? Huh? I told you, beans. I mean, it doesn't taste like beans. That's what I'm just mm -hmm. mm, I'll do a, I'll do a mochi. So, just by the feeling of this one. It's mochi, it's definitely mochi. I don't know what the flavor is though. Ah, Mitarashi. Mitarashi Dango Mochi. Made by Itoseika. This chewy mochi. <laughs> this chewy mochi is inspired by a traditional Japanese specialty. Mitarashi. Mitarashi Dango. Dango! It has exclamation point. Uh, it is made with mochi that is grilled on a skewer and has a sweet soy sauce glaze. This mochi turns a traditional snack into a portable delight. Flavor sweet. It's not vegetarian. Uh, common allergens, milk, wheat, and soy. So, sorry if you're allergic to this. Oh, and it contains alcohol. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I'm not really that. I don't really like alcohol that much. But someone needs to act like they do like it. Yeah, I don't like it. Sorry, coming out. It's not really coming out. So that's what it looks like. Take a bite. See what the difference is? No, you definitely taste different. I don't think you're gonna like it. But but about here, before you go, if you need to try it. Oh, that's weird. It is right. It's it's like it's like it has teriyaki or some type of soy-based sauce. It's mm -hmm. like that thing we we had where that the lady. Mochi is good though. Mochi is definitely good. Remember that one? Uh, we went to, um, um, where did we go? Where we the lady. Oh, Mitsua. Oh, we went to Mitsua. Oh yeah, that's a good and place and place. they were having um they were having these the dango, and the lady. They like made it there. They made the dango there, so they made the the mochi there, and then they had the dango the sauce. Everything and I, I was like, it was the first time I'd ever tried it. And I went out to this lady and she was like, "Oh, would you like one?" I was like, "Sure." And so it was near closing time, so I'm thinking she was, she thought she was being really nice, which it was. It was super nice. 
But usually they'll they'll dip it and really quickly and not. So it has like a nice. So it has a nice coating. Yeah, coating like a nice even coating. Lady goes, and then she just drags it through the sauce and just puts the whole thing in there. So this thing is dripping sauce, and she just looks at me and she smiles, just like the sweetest smile. And I, I totally appreciated it, but at the same time I was like, whoa, that's a lot. Um, it was really good, and that's exactly what this tastes like. Um, it's savory but sweet. But sometimes it goes right back to savory and then back to sweet. The mochi is really good. The mochi is good though. The mochi yeah, is a totally nice. Didn't get the yeah, totally good. Yeah. Mm. yeah, it's very interesting. So, now that you went to get this boba milk tea mochi. And you from can get Costco. it it's from Costco. Um, and this has been one of the snacks we've been living off of. It comes in a gigantic, like in a gigantic bag. bag about that big. So this is what it looks like. I'm a little messed up because I opened it weird. And the mochi from the other one is better, but I just like this one. And it is like, it does have like one thing of boba in the middle. And then almost like a milk tea around it. Mm -hmm. mm. It's a lot less chewy. It's not as fun to eat, but it does taste really good. All right. Okay, it's my turn. Is it? Mm. Wait, I'm gonna try this one. Okay. <laughs> that looks like gumdrops already. Right. This is what it looks like. Nope. I really hope this is coming out. We're doing this on my phone because it's the only thing I have to um, to do this on. Yes. So I can't see the screen. So if, it, if, it, if all of these are blurry, I'm so sorry. So, um, Marugoto. Oh, okay. All right. Now he's going to try. Marugoto Kajitsu. That's an A for effort. It's peach and musket fruit. What is musket? Mus I don't know. It is uh, uses 100% fruit juice to flavor their chewy gummies. Enjoy, Hi. enjoy the flavor of real fruit as you try this assortment of Momo white peach, which is the peach, mm -hmm. and musket grape, which is the green. Hmm. Plus, the bag oh. zips close so they stay fresh longer. Whoa, that's it's sweet, not vegetarian. Well, because it's gummy. It's it smells really nice. A little, a little manufactured, but that's kind of what you get with gummies, right? But you can totally, you can smell what that is. That's, that hit me pretty hard. All right, so I'm gonna try, what, which one's the orange one? Uh, that's a Momo peach, right? The peach, yeah. Right. So I'm gonna try the grape. Mallory's gonna try the peach. Wait, wait, so you're, you have the grape. I have the grape. Yeah, yeah. And that's what they look like. And it's a, Zip closed bag for longer questions. Oh, it's harder than I was thinking. That's really nice. Mm. I can totally taste the grape. It does taste like fake grape, but only because, probably because it's really concentrated. Since I don't really drink alcohol, it reminds me of a sweet wine. Hmm, like a Moscato. Musket grape. Maybe that's where it comes from. Sounds oh, good to me. All right, we'll take that. <laughs> um, do you want to try the, the green one? Yeah, Mallory doesn't drink alcohol either, do I really? Um, I drink mainly socially. I've never been drunk. Which I'm Mallory has it. tried very hard to get drunk though. Wait, I already tried that. No, I feel where you're coming from. Mm -hmm. And you. Oh, it's It's pretty good. It's not bad. I feel like the peach. If the camera starts moving, my 
My cat Link is uh, sniffing the. Oh, he's the oh sorry, he's the uh, he's the videographer. Yeah. He's uh, trying to give us more action shots. <laughs> All right. My turn. Yes, your turn. Because I picked the last. One. You you did. All right. So. Oh. So, all right. Oh, I see. I saw that one. I don't know what this is. It's a strawberry something. It's a strawberry something? Oh, there it is. Amao. Excuse me. Amao strawberry milk langa lang langue langu langui langue de cha chat. Oh, langue de chat. Yes. Tongue of the cat. No, no, that says chat. Chat. Cookie. Langer, la this Langer de, de Chat sandwich cookie is a fragrant with the scent of Fukuoka. Fukuoka. That one. Famous. Ooh, what kind of strawberry? Am Amao. Amao strawberry. Amao. A M A O U. Amao. Amao. Anyway. Inside the bean cookies is a layer of strawberry and milk, milk flavored white chocolate, held in place by strawberry cream. Nice. So it's not really sweet. It is. Yes, yeah. Vegetarian also. Okay. This is what the uh, packaging looks like. I think this is a very nice and pink. If someone told me it was strawberries, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, it's like a cookie. In the picture, it kind of looks like a macaron. It's a very weird cookie. This is what it looks like. It's like a fancy strawberry Oreo. Yeah, with like a disc of something. That disc in there is just a disc. Mm. Mm. It's peculiar, actually. It's sweet. Almost a little overly sweet. Yeah, I feel like that meant that sheet in there is actually like fondant. Mm. Yeah, so it's it's super sweet actually on the inside. The cookie That's is really nice. nice. The cookie is actually the cookie is nice and uh, it balances it out. But yeah, it's I think it's a little too sweet for me. Yeah, I like that. yeah it's not too. I it's not my food. favorite thing. But the flavor is nice. It's just too sweet. The cookie is the best part. Cookie's of the sweet. Now cookies. And I'm gonna just eat the whole thing. Alright, perfect. Nice. Here, how it goes? Alright, we'll try this one since that one was super sweet. Right. Let's hope this one is savory. Oh, there's some peanuts in there. So I know that there's a peanut allergy. So there's peanuts in there. No! <laughs> That's their face. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, it was pretty sweet. Again, good, just overly sweet. Alright. Oh man. I want you to read this. Oh, I Otona no Otsumami. Ebi Crunch. Made by Iwatsuka Seika. Balanced by the slight sweetness from the soy sauce. These puffed rice crackers pack a flavorful punch and also give a little heat thanks to the added black pepper, curry powder, and garam masala. Ooh, this is gonna be curry-ish. Curry-ish? I am probably gonna love it. Savory it is. Vegetarian it's not. Common allergens are crustacean, shellfish, peanuts, soy. Crustaceans? It's always crustaceans. 
probably use, I'm not sure, but you know. <laughs> Oh, that's crunchy. Oh, I hear that crunch. Mm, that's really? No. Wow. Mallory. Well, it gives that tiny bit of heat. It's not even heat at the end. Mallory doesn't like curry. I tried to get her to try it multiple times. So this is kind of a surprise. She's liking this. Mm. So this is what it looks like. Close up. I'm sorry. I keep burping. Whoa, that was our country. Whoa, that is good. There's gonna be another. Oh. 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 <laughs> so there's a little heat. That's at the end. It's not, it's even not heat. I wouldn't say it's heat. It's like the feeling you get when you know there's gonna be heat, but there's not. Really yeah, heat. it's like the preheat. Doesn't that make sense? Free heat up. <laughs> but like, it, it hits you and you think it's gonna get hotter and then it kind of backs off at that point. So, it's actually nice. Um, yeah, I'm surprised you like this. It's, it's, it is custard, cus, cus, custard? Why curry. am I thinking custard? Curry, it is very, you can taste the curry on it. I'm sorry, I said custard because our other cat, Tiny, loves custard. And she's gonna kill us because we haven't given her any. Um, and don't worry, we don't. It's not like we give her a bunch of custard. So usually just eat whatever we have that has custard in it. But uh, I digress. Uh, yeah, it is really, really nice actually. I have peanuts in here too. I'm gonna cut peanuts. Oh, that is a pork. There are pork. Okay, peanuts aren't aren't quite as fun. They just got this. That heat burn has it. Actually, they're pretty salty. Alright. Next. Next. Yeah. Oh, Mike. Now let's just be uh, obvious here. Oh, wait. Ooh, you're fine through pretty much everything. Yeah, there's just one. The last one. thing That's in that one. I was waiting for that one as well. I want that one. No, you have to wait. No, I. It's not there. Alright. What? We did probably save the best one for last, though. The one I'm most excited for. But, this is the next one. I really wish I I kept up with my hiragana. But this one is made by Matsunaga. This is what it looks like. And, uh... Okay, what, what it is? Okay, yes. Mini red bean crackers. Oh, yeah! I'm having red bean for dinner! Made by Matsunaga Seika. 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 This unassuming golden cracker conceals a thin layer of red bean huh. paste that yes. adds a hint of sweetness. Yes. It's a flavor inspired by shiruko, a traditional Japanese dessert of sweet red bean porridge traditionally eaten in winter. Nice. Uh, the flavor is sweet. Oh. It is vegetarian. This is what it looks like. And you can see there's that, uh, oh, see. very, very thin layer. I hope you can see what it. What are you doing? Our cat is trying to eat some. Oh, that's the curry one. Oh, no. Mink. Right. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to try it out. Red bean is my jam. Not Mallory's jam, my jam. But I did get her hooked on um, on uh, black sesame seeds. Oh. Roasted sesame seed. Is there even a layer of red bean? There is. It's super small. You might like this. Do you it again. Yeah, do it. Ooh, this is really good. I'm going to go as far as to say this is probably my favorite thing in the whole thing. I'm serious, it's really good. You don't really taste the red bean. But I mean, you do if you know what you're looking for. It's not a cracker. 
but it is sweet. It's a nice crunch. Well, it's got that crackery crunch to it. Oh, stinky. <laughs> it's not stinky. <laughs> My cat just smelled its butt <laughs> and, and did that face that cats do where they're like, <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, I don't really taste Yeah, but it's good, right? It's kind of. It's all right. It's good. It's good. Don't listen to her. Yeah. How dare you? Well, they're all for you. No. Okay, that's fine. They're all for me. All right. Last one. Last one. Which one shall it be? You know, you could have kept the thing open. I'm still gonna read it. <laughs> this one. Taiyaki. Been looking forward to this one. This is what it looks like. And we love Taiyaki. Mallory, I remember the first time I got Taiyaki, she actually thought it was actual fish in there for a second. I was like, no, 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 no. No, it's sweet. <laughs> You said puko puko. Oh, puko puko time. <laughs> I'm sorry. Puko oh, puko. <laughs> Look, we are definitely butchering all these names. Sorry. Sorry. This adorable snack is a fun fish shaped delight that has a crisp shell and cloves. Uh, nah, nah. Has a crisp. <laughs> Give me this. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to do that. Cut. Cut. <laughs> I'm not gonna cut it though. <laughs> so, puku puku tai. <laughs> Strawberry made by Meito Saigyo. This adorable snack is a fun fish shaped delight that has a crisp shell enclosing a light and tasty strawberry mousse. Not only are these mousse smothered fluffy wafers extremely delicious, they're also packed full of calcium. Ooh, what? So they're healthy. It's healthy. It has calcium. Good for your bones. Uh, sweet it is. Vegetarian it isn't. And common allergens are probably obvious, but it is milk, wheat, and soy. It also contains mollusk Shellfish. I don't know how, but sure. Still good though. Anyways. Obviously not the same as a uh, taiyaki you get from a place. This is what it looks like. Fishy, fishy. Um, definitely feels more like a wafer that you find at a wafer place. At a wafer place. <laughs> you know when you get the wafer thins or anything like that. It that's what it feels like. That's what it smells like. True. Like smelling yes. Mm. He's the smelly one. You know how to eat? Do you know how to eat? Yes! Absolutely I do. I can wait for it. Did you get any of the filling? Mm-hmm. Wait for filling. No, oh, okay. You get strawberry mousse. So, does that mean all the wafers always have strawberry mousse or some chocolate mousse or... Is it always a type of mousse? 
Probably. This just has a lot more flavor than like a regular wafer. So thing. definitely not an elk. Huh? A moose, not an elk. The fishy. <laughs> what is the fishy? No. What? And in finding the Starla? Yeah. Why are you sleeping? Thank <laughs> <laughs> <Take> you, <my turn. laughs> I did. I am a professional. I wish you could see my cat. It's like that confectioner's type of mousse. Um, it almost melts in your mouth almost right away. And really, all you the only texture there you get is from the uh, wafer. Mm-hmm. Because the rest is mousse, so mm -hmm. it doesn't have the texture. So, like I don't know if you've had a, something called a caplico. Not calpico. Caplico. Where it's like... It, they make it look like an ice cream... Uh, like an ice cream cone. Yeah, like an ice cream cone, and on the top it looks like ice cream, but it's not. It's actually like dried mousse. That's what the mousse on the inside looks like. As you can see here. Hopefully. Hopefully. It's my first time doing this, so we'll do more. Hopefully. Well, <laughs> right. yeah, it's my first day. <laughs> that reminded me of, and you can exchange this for goods and services. <laughs> But yeah, it's it's not bad. It's not great. It's a wafer. It's pretty good. It's a wafer, yeah. That's, it's still nice. It's a wafer with more mousse in the middle. Yes. Shit as a fish. Absolutely. Apt. <laughs> okay, it's pretty delightful. It's dry though. It is dry. I'm gonna put it in. So, yep, that was it. Uh, we tried everything that when it came with the box. Um, that was fun. Yeah, it was fun. The Happy boxy birthday box. Boxy birthday box. Happy birthday box to you. Um, also, would like to tell you guys this is not. This is not sponsored. Yeah, because we get sponsored. We, yeah, we totally get sponsors all the time. No, uh, uh, Mallory got this for me as a uh, as a wedding anniversary. wedding anniversary present back in March. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's when it started. May. Yes. Um, <laughs> apt. Apt. Uh, so she got me this uh, this whole thing. We we've already gone through two boxes. Um, it's always really good. We're always satisfied. I know that we're kind of being a little more critical. Um, but everything here is really good still. Um, it's really high quality stuff. And again, like I said, they have a lot of things that they have that are specifically made for Boxu. Um, so if you want to try it out, please do. I will say it is a little expensive, more on the expensive side since a lot of it is artisanal. A lot of it is actually made by um, local places in Japan. I was going to say they also have oh, right. a map of all the places where you, where the um, little snacks come from. Yes. So it does have a map uh, telling you where in Japan these snacks come from. And um, actually, if you go to Boxu and you don't want to have the subscription, you can actually buy them um, from their shop individually. Again, I do want to caution, it is a little more on the expensive side. Again, it is probably worth it if you really want it mainly because these are made by actual artisans they're not made in bulk they're not i don't think they're made in like factories unless and they're in japan and yeah they're they're from japan so um again i loved it i loved every single box we got um you know and like in it in life not everything was super great but everything was good it was it's, it's fun trying them yes it's super fun trying them um I'm not gonna be one of those people that say, "Hey, you, get, you know, you learn so much about the culture." Obviously, we, we, you know, we want to go to Japan, but it's it's a nice stepping stone into it, and it's a nice kind of this is what we can expect 
snacks to be like there. So uh, it's been really, really good. So thank you for getting that for me and then us sharing it with everyone else. Next box we're gonna get from the cheaper snacks. Yeah. Uh, next box, well, there's a ton of other snack boxes out there. Um, but again, Boxu, really, um, really high quality stuff and super thankful to have been able to try it. And um, I believe Mallory got the code from Tubby Eats. Tubby Eats. So if you see this, Shinichi and Satoshi, hi, <laughs> I am such a big fan. So. Um, and I, I don't know, uh, we'd love to meet you guys, but, um, yeah, thank you for joining us in this adventure here. Hi guys, uh, thank you again for joining us with um, for the Boxu adventure and everything. Um, I know we usually do this every week. We had to take a, a bit of a break last week. Um, had a few things come up, a uh, little bit of a personal tragedy, which I'm not going to get into, but I uh, just wanted to let you know uh, that yeah, we're back. Hopefully I'll be doing another one next week and we won't have any more lapses. And there will be a big one coming up at the end of May. Yeah, we're gonna be going to San Francisco to go meet one of, with one of our friends there. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna make a little road trip to Tonopah and then over to we're Vegas. See the clown yeah, we're gonna see the Clown Motel. We're gonna see it. We're not staying there. I'm not staying there. Oh, and the cemetery right next to Oh, and the cemetery. Yeah, the cemetery is fine. We can go there. That's fine. So we're gonna go the, during the day. During the day, yeah. So it's gonna be one trip, uh, one day trip there and then over to. Uh, to Vegas and then back, uh, hopefully to stop in Calico on the way as well, and uh, Eddie World. So, um, hope you're you come got you bleh, 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 bleh. you come with us there. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys for joining us and uh, yeah, have a good night or morning or day and uh, what do I later days.